All right, this topic is called graphing a vertical or horizontal inequality, um, and we're going to talk about that in just a second, but a couple things I want to mention. One of them is that in inequalities have a lot more solutions than equations do. Um, just on the most basic type, if we compare, um, let's see, let's say if we compare like x equals 3 to x is less than 3, x equals 3 just has one number to it. There's only one number that equals 3, you're done. There's one solution. x is less than 3, um, you're, you could have 0, you could have 1, you could have negative 12. So there's an infinite number of solutions. So inequality, inequalities always have a ton of answers. And when we start graphing them on the coordinate plane or this x-y axis, we're going to have to do some shading to show where all the answers lie. All right, that being said, um, we're going to start off just with the basics of graphing a vertical or horizontal um, equation. Um, so that will be the first step. Maybe we should write down some steps. I think that would probably be a smart thing. All right, let's say we have an example of y is less than or equal to 2. Um, and we're going to graph that on a coordinate plane. What we're going to do is, for the first step, is we want to graph, graph the line. Instead of starting right off with doing something we don't know how to do, we're going to graph y equals 2. Um, how to do that is shown on a different video, so if you're not sure how to do it, um, all the specifics, go back and look at that video. Um, but in a nutshell, we find the y-axis, we find 2, and we're going to draw a line right at y equals 2. Um, one thing I need to add in here that's new, you probably don't know this, is if you have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you're going to use a solid line when you draw it. If for some reason on your inequality you have less than or greater than, you're going to use a dotted line because that means that where that line actually lies, those solutions don't count. They aren't equal to it, so they, can't, they won't be able to count. And you need to show that by using a dotted line. So it's real important to remember that on step one. Step two is you want to um, shade on the correct side of the line and correct side of the line. And this is actually pretty easy when you're doing inequality vertical lines or horizontal lines. It's a little bit trickier when you're doing any linear um, inequality at all. Um, in our case, you just need to think of it. It's saying shade all of the numbers that are less than or equal to 2. So look at your line you've drawn. drawn. It, are all the numbers above it less than or equal to 2, or are all the numbers below it less than or equal to 2? So all of the numbers below it are less than or equal to 2. So we just shade it like that. That's all you have to do. And then you are done with that example. But those are the steps that we're going to use for all of these. All right, so make sure you have those steps in your notes before we do another example. All right, so for our second example, let's say that we have y. Uh, actually, we just used y, right? So let's do an x one this time. Let's say that we have x is less than uh, negative 3. All right, so our first step is we want to graph the line x equals negative 3. Um, so we find the x-axis, we find negative 3, and now because we have this, we're going to use, we have a less than sign, we're going to use a dotted line. So we're going to draw our line down negative 3 using a dotted line, like so. Beautiful. Second step is which side do we shade on? So are they asking us to shade, they're asking us to shade all numbers less than negative 3. So we have numbers less than negative 3. And is that going to be to the right of the dotted line or to the left of the dotted line? Well, it's going to be all these numbers because these numbers are all less than negative 3. So you just want to throw in that shading and just show that's what we want. And that's it. All right, if you want to try this one on your own, why don't you copy down the problem, hit pause, work it all out, and then come back and take a look and see um, if your answer matches mine. Uh, let's try um, y is greater than... 1.5. Ooh, we're getting pretty sneaky. So if you want to hit pause and uh, give it a whirl, and then come back and hit play, that's great. Remember the first step is we want to graph y equals 1.5. So find your y-axis, find 1.5, and we need to use a dotted line through it. So roughly in that ballpark, putting a dotted line, so we want to use a dotted. Step two is we need to shade, and we need numbers bigger than 1.5. So when we look at the, the dotted line we just drew, all of these above the line are going to be bigger than 1.5, so we shade those. And that's it. 